Well, the Olympics are over, and if you're from the US or the UK, as many of the people who watch or listen to my stuff are, you're probably pretty happy with your country's performance. If you're from China, you're probably not watching this because your government won't let you, plus you're already training for the next Olympics, but once again, Canada has shit the bed, although this year it feels like the sheets are a little more stained than in years past. Canada has always done poorly in the Summer Olympics, and in mid-July on my personal Facebook wall, based on past performances and just a little bit of guessing, I predicted 17 medals, 2 gold, 6 silver, and 9 bronze. We ended up with 1 gold, 5 silver, and 12 bronze for 18 medals total, so that was pretty fucking close on this one. However, the Canadian press had predicted 22 medals, and Canada's Olympic Committee, along with our own the podium program said they were aiming for a top 12 finish. If you count total medals, Canada finished 13th. So close, right? But they say close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, and neither of those are Olympic sports. Yet. And what makes this worse than other years is that own the podium program I just mentioned, set up to give greater funding to Olympic athletes, which would result in better training, which would result in a higher medal count. It arguably worked in the 2010 Winter Olympics, when Canada had its best showing with 14 golds and 26 overall medals, placing first in the gold medal rankings and third in overall medals. But let's face it, Canada has always been better in the snow, and we don't have to worry about countries like China winning every event. Even the US is at a bit of a disadvantage, it's not like people in the south do a lot of skiing or know what a fucking mogul is. But the summer is a whole different story, and we pissed away a lot of money for that 13th place finish. $34 million this year, provided by the government, according to the Own the Podium website, which means that it was provided by the taxpayers. So, where did my tax dollars go? Well, we gave nearly $3.8 million to train track athletes. Why? Canada has no chance against Kenyans or Ethiopians in the long distance runs, and in sprinting, fucking forget it with Usain Bolt and Tyson Gay in the mix. We shouldn't even bother trying. If we're going to spend 3.8 million, we should at least buy a Jamaican to have a chance. We spent 3.3 million to train cyclists. That was money well spent for one bronze medal. 7 million combined went to rowing sports, and that was arguably the biggest payoff with five medals, but that's $1.4 million spent on winning a $10 medal. Meanwhile, I see no funding for trampoline on here, but that's where Canada won its only gold medal, and we only spent $30,000 to train weightlifters, which resulted in a bronze, so that seems like the best return on investment, and makes a pretty good argument for what I'm about to say next. I don't think we should be funding this shit at all. An athlete isn't going to become the best in the world just because you give them more money. They've either trained from the time they could crawl to become the best a human could possibly be at something, which is what they do in China and to a lesser extent in the US, or in Canada for hockey, or they're genetically built to dominate a sport like Kenyans, Ethiopians, and Jamaicans are for running, or they've got some natural talent that makes them great, or they've got none of these advantages and they're fucked. And whether you give a swimmer $10,000 to train or $100,000 to train, it's not gonna matter. Michael Phelps started swimming at the age of seven, held a national record for his age at 10, and placed fifth in an Olympic event at the age of 15. He wasn't rich at this point, he wasn't getting paid millions in endorsements at that time, he was a kid in high school. Someone could give me $2 million a year to train. I could swim every day for eight hours a day for the next four years, have the best coaches and the most aerodynamic swim trunks, and I'll just never be as fast as him or any other swimmer that made the podium, because that's just how life is. Not all men and women were created equal, and you can't be whatever you want to be in life. Those are two things your mommy should have told you. So the government pissed away $34 million for 18 medals, Money that could have been spent on healthcare, education, or something worthwhile instead of a bunch of jocks playing in the sun. Who cares if some guy jumps higher or throws a sharpened stick further than a few other people and gets a medal? How does that help the rest of the country in any way? $34 million. There are 34 million people in Canada, so a dollar from each of our taxes paid for this 13th place finish. I don't know about you, but I want my fucking loony back.